Hi, I thought I'd give you a little rundown today on the MindMedia R7, which is a uh, four input uh, video switcher and encoder uh, built in along with a seven inch touchscreen. Uh, it's built by a company called MindMedia out of Shenzhen, China. Uh, first of all, uh, we'll open up the box and have a look at what's inside. Um, you'll see it's a fairly compact size. Uh, it's about sort of uh, 25 centimetres by uh, 15 centimetres by about uh, 4 centimetres deep. Uh, it has a 7-inch um, uh, touchscreen which also tilts which is a nice bonus. Comes in a case here. I'll take it out. Um, it's all well fitted. And in the case as well, we have um, some antennas in here. We have our two 4G antennas, our two Wi-Fi antennas, and also 12 volt power supply. And I've just popped in an external 4G modem to give me three uh, modems um, and a, a fourth, actually, which is another Huawei um, USB cell modem uh, to give me four inputs. Um, it's a really well made case and the device itself seemed pretty well made. Um, so we'll leave it out now. Um, we'll put, take those antennas and so forth out and we'll have, a, um, we'll have a play with it and have a look at some of the features. All right, uh, we'll talk about some of the buttons on the device, uh, the MindMedia R7. We've got a uh, power button at the front. Uh, we've got the button to record the program outstream internally. Uh, we've got uh, the stream button. Uh, hit this to start streaming uh, or you can do it uh, directly from uh, the app on your phone. Um, these two here are the uh, internal SIM uh, indicators to show when you've got a um, network connection. Uh, this one here is for your Wi-Fi. Um, to show that you've got a good Wi-Fi connection and when it's connected. And then you've got um, two lights here to show uh, battery charging and also to show that the stream is going out. Uh, I'll turn the device around now and on the side here uh, you'll see um, that we've got a microphone, uh, sorry, a headphone out put 3.5 mil, a microphone input 3.5 mil. Uh, we've also got a slot here for a micro SD card, a USB input which can be used to um, uh, copy, store, copy from a USB stick to the internal storage or you can also plug a USB um, cellular dongle in and have a third um, cell phone or third 4G um, dongle, 4G connection. Uh, these are your two internal SIM cards. Uh, your two uh, LTE antennas, uh, which screw off, uh, one there, I'll turn this guy around, and um, we've also got one here as well. Uh, we've got our Ethernet connection, two SDI inputs, two HDMI inputs, and of course uh, a Wi-Fi antenna. And around this side, uh, we've also got um, another Wi-Fi antenna. Uh, we've got HDMI out, which can output either the preview image, the program image, or the multi-view image. Uh, and here we've got our 12 volt DC input uh, for, our, um, for our charging and so forth. All right, let's, um, let's boot this device up by holding the button down for a couple of seconds, power button, and do a uh, short but um, a little bit in-depth demo of what the features are of this MindMedia R7. Um, boot up time is around the 15 to 20 second mark. Um, so uh, there's not much to do while, while we wait. Um, you'll see as it boots up uh, the two 4G um, devices will flash as they get the network connection and it's the same with the Wi-Fi as well. It'll, um, it'll flash green until it's got its connection then it'll go solid green. Um, this one up here shows uh, streaming. Uh, currently of course it's not streaming, it's just a um, solid green colour uh, but it changes as you go streaming. And the bottom one here um, when you're connected to power or charging it'll glow red. On the um, display here we've got 
our four local inputs, our two SDI inputs and our two HDMI inputs. Uh, we'll bring one of them up into the preview window and we'll switch it across to the program window and we'll bring up this one into the preview window. Uh, we can switch between preview and program either on the screen very quietly, uh, silently, or on the device with the cut button which is actually a bit noisy. Um, so in a quiet room I tend to only use the on-screen switch uh, because this just is too noisy. Um, we can turn our audio on and off uh, on the device um, here so we can turn our audio on which um, it'll, it's actually coming out the internal speaker at the moment um, but we'll turn that off and so forth. We can also do audio follows video or we can mix uh, multiple channels together um, which uh, works really well. Um, now I'll show you um, the bottom ones here can be inputs um, from RTSP feeds um, from other devices like this that can provide an RTSP output. Um, I'll go in and we'll, instead of choosing a, a net stream we'll get a local stream um, we can play uh, videos, for example, that we put on the device. Um, I've got them stored on the internal storage of the device. Um, so we'll confirm that one. And what we can do is we can set it to cycle through constantly. Um, and we can get it so when we cut to it, it'll go back to the file head. So we'll start playing that now. And we'll also add in a... Um, We'll also add in a onto um, another window here. We'll add in a still photograph. Um, so we'll go plus, we'll go into pictures here, enter, and we'll bring up in the originals, bring up that waterfall, and we'll confirm that one. And once again with that guy there, we'll, um, well, we don't really need to cycle that because um, it's a still photo, but we'll, um, We'll do the same as we've done for the video, that way we've you know, got it in the back of our head what we do every time. We'll start that one, and then we'll go back and you'll see now we've got our video down the bottom and our still photo. We can bring the video up into the preview screen and you'll see as soon as I cut to that one, it'll go back to the start of the video file each time. And we can actually bring a still photo up into the preview and you'll see I can switch to that still photo and switch back and it goes to start that video. Uh, the beauty is too is we can set audio follows video on that so we can be listening to our, um, our mic, normal mic, um, say for example in this situation here we can put our video aside with audio follows video on and as soon as we switch to that you'll see it lights up red and we get the audio from that video um, that comes straight into the feed. Uh, we'll switch back now um, We'll bring this guy up into a thing. We can switch over to that. And of course, we can spring up a still photo. We can still have our local audio on. Um, or um, we can have a soundtrack or anything like that. So I'll bring these guys up. Um, now, I think uh, I should show you some of the uh, setting features. Um, up the top here, we've got our network settings for our SIM cards. Um, You'll see we've got four, uh, two SIM cards in at the moment. You can actually have three SIM cards by using a dongle in the USB input on the side. So, and um, you've also got your local area network settings. I don't have it plugged in, but that's another connection you can make. And also our Wi-Fi, which I've got connected at the moment. Um, and our aggregation button to bond all these connections together. And we got our parameters for video encoding. We have our live stream parameters. And we also have our recording parameters, um, which is the recording that can be done internally just by holding down this button. And you'll see that it'll light up green and up the top you'll get a flashing recording button showing you that it's recording internally to the device, the program output. Um, we've got our RTMP settings for our stream. Um, generally these are added using the app on a phone, uh, which allows you to use um, QR codes to quickly input the stream key plus the um, YouTube or Facebook um, streaming address. Um, video output will t um, from the HDMI on the side of the device 
uh, which I showed before, that'll allow you to output program out, preview out or multi-view out. Uh, if you want to plug it into like a large screen at a conference center or anything like that, or go out into another, another streaming device if required. Um, audio parameters are settings um, to suit your best uh, stream, whether it be YouTube, Facebook, um, Twitch, anything like that, you put those settings in there. Um, I'm not 100% sure, I haven't looked into the keyboard uh, features that much. Um, the storage allows you to uh, move uh, files and so forth between the internal storage on the device, uh, the USB storage you may have plugged into the device, or the micro SD card that's also in the side of the device. So this is the micro SD card, the internal storage and the USB if you've got it plugged in and you can manage that in that way. And then in your general settings you've got uh, software upgrades and so forth um, in there. Um, on the top up here you can click on this and get an idea of your current network connection, um, your bit rates and so forth, um, your video sources, um, your encoding settings, uh, and the devices and the device settings and so forth. Um, what else can I? Uh, there's also the option in here to turn off your um, turn off your microphone or your speaker. It's got an internal speaker, and also turn your um, microphone levels and mix and so forth on and off. Um, that's most of the stuff I can show you for now, although I should point out it also does have a picture-in-picture -picture option where uh, you can, um, using this button here, uh, well on, it's not a button, it's an on-screen display, you can um, bring up in your program window, bring up a box and you can drag uh, into that from the settings and then you can have uh, a um, um, picture in picture that can be moved around the screen as needed and it'll ask you give you a thing uh, and that can also be resized as needed and so forth and you can move that wherever suits and we'll turn that off for now um, we can also have an on-screen display now the on-screen display will give us uh, the options of having a picture um, on screen in a, in a corner or so forth or a logo we can also have text on screen, um, we can have the time on screen as well, or you can bring up a score. Um, if, you, if you're into that, you can pop a scoreboard on the, let's have a look here. Um, and we can, you can move that scoreboard around and so forth. Uh, if, if this was the type of thing you needed to do, uh, I definitely don't need to do that. So we'll turn that off, cancel that. And we'll go back out. So that's a couple of the features of the on-screen display plus the picture-in-picture, picture, which is pretty cool. Um, I'll switch back to that. Um, now, talking about some of the uh, some of the um, things that have happened, I've had a couple of issues with um, with synchronization of audio being out by three or four frames, but it has been able to be corrected quite easily in post in in post. Now, this is only the recorded audio on the micro SD card. It hasn't gone out out of sync live. It's only the recorded version that seems to be out of sync and it doesn't happen all the time. And if it does, it's only three or four frames and that's easily corrected by just nudging the audio, um, uh, the audio lane left or right to suit. Um, one of the other things that's a little bit funny is, is some of the spelling. Um, I don't know where I can see it on here, um, but a lot of the spelling is, is um, out a bit in the um, the language translation um, internal and so forth however uh, they've assured me that things like the languages and the spelling and so forth will be fixed up in an upcoming firmware update um, it's really good there um, mind media are very good with um, communication uh, mango there has been really helpful to me and um, which is, is, is really good. Um, they've been helpful with diagnosing any issues I've had uh, and uh, have really come to the party when it's come to um, uh, providing really handy information about how to fix up any uh, issues I've had. Um, one other outstanding issue uh, I am having is a time issue. Um, it's, it's um, I don't think it's on here, it's on the app itself, but it's, it will not um, allow you to display any time at all except 
uh, mainland China time. So hopefully with the next update, uh, even though you can set your local time in the app, um, hopefully they will fix that in the next firmware update to allow you to operate your device on um, on your local time. I mean, my time here right now is exactly, is 3.06 p.m. and you'll see mainland China is 1.06. So if you're operating in any other country apart from um, in that time zone, um, you'll see that the time's constantly out. Um, and like I said, hopefully that'll get fixed up really soon. Um, all right, um, we'll shut it down now and I'll give you an idea of the shutdown process. Um, and then we'll uh, move on from there. Just a quiet shutdown. And we're done.